K-Stars, it is your girl Kristen Alexis and we are doing a cooking video today. I am really excited about this recipe in this video for a couple reasons. One, I haven't done a cooking video in a little while and two, I have not done this recipe in a really long time so I'm going to try to refresh myself on how to do this. I really hope I don't mess this up because it has been so long and I don't remember all the details, but I think it's kind of simple. So we are going to be doing smothered pork chops today. I'm not a huge pork girl anymore. However, I've been trying to think of some really cool ideas to do when I was like, something smothered would be really delicious. So we're gonna do that. I'm going to do some homemade mashed potatoes. We're also gonna have some broccoli for the vegetable because I think a vegetable is very important. And just talk and have a lot of fun so I hope you guys are looking forward to cooking with me and if you want to have a recipe or like have a have you know very clear directions on how to make this recipe I will put a recipe for this in the description box below so that you can try this out and have really clear directions when you go to do it for yourself but I'm gonna try to do my best but I just want to you know make sure I let y'all know in case I happen to mess anything up along the way okay you guys so these are the ingredients I'm going to probably use a little bit of heavy whipping cream because I looked up a couple recipes and one of them called for whipping cream so I'm gonna add just a little bit not a ton and then I'm also going to be using a little bit of chicken broth we're going to use some onions because you need the onions to get the broth just right or the gravy I should say and then we also are going to have our potatoes for the mashed potatoes and then I mentioned the broccoli so I got to get my pork chops out of the refrigerator and go ahead and wash them off and then I've got my pots over here so I should be ready to go I'm gonna add some water to the pot to do the potatoes because you got to boil them for about 10 minutes I believe it is so that you can mash them really good and then I have my my skillet here that we're gonna fry these pork chops inside of I just got done washing my pork chops and I'm about to put some seasoning salt and black pepper and a little bit of garlic powder over them and then the recipe that I was looking at they use chili powder so I'm gonna see if I have any of that and I'm gonna also add that to the pork chops as well are ready to come out so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on a napkin and then cook the rest of them in the skillet these look perfect you guys I can't wait to put them inside of the gravy and get that started but they're looking really beautiful okay guys so the potatoes are out of the pot basically I've drained them and I'm about to actually add them back to the pot so they'll be super dry when I go ahead and mash them so basically what they tell you to do is put them back in the pot for two to four minutes and then when they're done, you know, getting all of the water out of them that's left inside, then you can go ahead and begin to mash. So this time I actually purchased a masher because last time I didn't have one and I was struggling. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these around and then I'm gonna just go ahead and start mashing. Okay y'all, I think they're about ready. And I actually was right, you do mash them first and then you add your butter and your whipping cream. So I guess I'm gonna get started. Let me switch hands because I'm with my I gotta do my strong hand. This is so much easier this way <laughs> than the last time, y'all. I was struggling because I didn't have the right tools. Should have used my other camera because I actually have a tripod, but I'm struggling using the other hand. Okay, so I have mashed these. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter and a little bit of whipping cream. So basically, the website that I've been following said to use melted butter and that it gives a better consistency when you try to mash the potatoes all up. Use melted butter. I actually have another half a stick. Ooh, I'm sorry y'all. I have another half a stick that I might end up putting in here just because I wanna make sure it's like really, really gets in there, but that is what you use, melted butter. Hey guys, so I added the whipping cream. I basically eyeballed it and just kept stirring and then I add a little more until I felt like it was the consistency 
that I want. Like I don't want it to be too creamy, but at the same time, I want it to be like just a nice firm consistency. So I may add just a pinch more to get it a little bit more creamy, but I just wanted to kind of explain to you guys what I'm doing because I did not measure it. So I took the pork chops out and I added the onions back to the same skillet and I basically drained off most of the oil but left a little bit in. So I'm just going to cook these down and then I will add a little bit of whipping cream and the chicken broth. I have added two tablespoons of the flour that I have put the pork chops in. And now we're just going to move it all around and then we're going to get our chicken broth. Okay, so I've added the chicken broth. You can already see the gravy starting to form and I'm going to put a little bit of whipping cream. Back in the day when I would make this, I actually only use water and the onions and the flour. But today I'm going to try the whipping cream and just see what I think about it. Um, you don't have to do that. You can actually just honestly use water or the chicken broth but we're gonna do do it today okay so i've added my pork chops to the gravy and i'm just going to mix them around i really hope this is good you guys <laughs> the whipping cream made this like way lighter than i'm used to so i'm gonna see what i think about it but i may or may not use the whipping cream again i feel like the chicken broth would have been suffice i did add a little bit of water though to mine so add water based on how you are feeling about it. I think I might actually add a little bit more just to get it to be, you know, over the pork chops. dinner and I've already tasted it usually I taste it on camera but it's really good I was act I'm actually very pleasantly surprised I was really worried about that whipping cream but it kind of curves the like floury flavor that you would get if you didn't add the chicken broth and the whipping cream so really really like it definitely delicious Brian said it was really good too so if you're looking for a smothered pork chop recipe that is delicious and good definitely would give this one two thumbs up now the boys adrian did like it but adris he hadn't he didn't taste the smothered pork chops but he was not a fan of the mashed potatoes so i guess to each his own they did eat the fried pork chops though without the gravy which you know kids will be kids so if you have kids beware you know definitely proceed with caution however they were definitely delicious really liked it let me just show you my plate this is what my plate's looking like i've already like i said kind of gotten into it already but it's really delicious and i will for sure be doing this again so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i'm about to go ahead and get up out of here though because it's getting late and i have an early morning tomorrow <laughs> what is so funny though one thing that some people always ask me is how do i stay dressed up or why do i stay dressed up when i am cooking and the reason is because i'm one of those weird people where i like to take two showers in a day so when i wake up in the morning i take a shower to do my hair and when i go to bed i do it again because i I just don't feel right getting in the bed without taking a shower so I don't want to do it twice before I go to bed because I like to do it right before I go to bed so that's why I typically don't you know change into my pajamas I like to go ahead and hop in the shower before I get all the way down and comfortable so that's kind of what my little routine is in the evening but with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here be sure to hit the thumbs up button before you guys leave as well as subscribe if you're a newbie to my channel but with that I'll see you guys next time I love you as always and have a great rest of your day